So let's say we have 27 gram block of aluminum. Well, we happen to know that the density of aluminum is 2.0 grams per milliliter. This is something that I already know, but it's easy enough for you to look up and it's necessary to solve this problem using this method. And we want to multiply it by a conversion factor. Conversion factor works when we put the same unit on the bottom of the denominator of the next term as the top of the numerator of the previous term, because they've got to cancel out. So one's got to be on the top, one's going to be on the bottom. That helps us decide whether we're dividing or multiplying. So clean it up a little bit here. Then we put the value in that we have. So we end up, this is how we know we're, that we're dividing. So we divide here and say, hey, what's the answer? Well, we just use our brains to say that it's 10 milliliters because the grams cancel and we're left with milliliters. That's the answer. That's how we get it. Now let's switch colors here so we can draw a little box. And, whoops, sorry. There we go. And that's the volume. This is one answer that we're looking for in this example. So let's look at the second part, which is to find the radius. We want to find the radius of this cylinder. For to do that, we need to have the formula for the volume of the cylinder. And here's that formula. It's pi times the radius squared times the length is equal to the volume. So we already know the volume, therefore, we already know that the volume is 10 milliliters. So let's write it out a little bit easier so we can solve for it while we still retain the original formula. So you have something to reference. It equals 10 milliliters from that. Then to solve, we just isolate the variable. So we have 10 milliliters. So we're going to take the 10 milliliters and we're going to divide it by the length like this. And then we're going to divide that also by pi second here, so we'll just copy that over. Oops. Then we will let's take square root of both sides. And when we do that, we can, that's how we that's just all we have to do to get the answer. I'll clean this up a little bit in case you need to write this down. And that's it. That's how we do these both sides. So to sum up, the radius is equal to the square root of 10 milliliters divided by pi times length. So you need the length to solve for this. So L is required to solve. And that is it. That's how you do it. I hope that this helps, and I hope you have a happy, happy, silly day. Take care. Bye-bye.